Ah, dang, is that a crack in my belt? Welcome back, it's your guy Engineer Mojo with another tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do an inspection of your timing belt. As always, full tool list is displayed on the screen. That's how I get down to make it easy for you all. This is my 3.4 liter V6 Tacoma. To get it started off fast, you want to remove the timing belt cover bolts. There's six of these, 10 millimeter. I'm pointing out the top four. Now I'm pointing out the bottom two locations. Bottom two locations are a bit hidden, but you can easily fill them with your fingers and locate them. Next, you want to locate your spark plug wires. You want to unclip those. They just easily pull off of your timing belt cover. Then to make it easy on myself, I don't remove the top hose for the coolant. I just slide back the clamp so that I can easily slide back the timing cover when it's all unbolted. That's really the key to making this a quick and easy inspection. This is just a quick video montage of the removal of the spark plug wires along with the 10 millimeter bolts that are holding on the timing belt cover. With the spark plug wires shifted out of the way and unclipped and the bolts removed, all six, go ahead and use a spring compressor tool, but you can use some kind of pliers as well to compress the spring on the top hose of the radiator and slide that on back. That way I can get some clearance and slide the timing belt cover back a little bit away from the timing belt and be able to visually inspect everything that's going on behind there without completely removing the timing belt cover. As you see, you gain pretty good access to the timing belt and visually you can see pretty much the whole surface of the timing belt, especially as you rotate the engine. In my case here, I'm actually about to change the timing belt, but I want to go on a road trip prior to. And I don't really have the time to change it before this road trip. So I want to pop this open the timing belt cover and do a visual inspection just to make sure there's no emergency scenarios where I'm actually seeing some kind of broken belt, frays, and things of that nature. In order to get a full inspection, you're going to have to rotate the engine. So you always want to rotate the engine clockwise and that's going to be to your right if you're looking at the front of the vehicle, to your right clockwise and you rotate the engine from the crankshaft bolt. As you see in the video I'm trying to shine the light I have my socket and my socket wrench I have a 19 millimeter socket placed on the crankshaft bolt and I can squeeze it just in there from the top of the motor going on down and I'll rotate the engine like I said clockwise. You don't want to do it counterclockwise because you may impact the tension on the belt and upset your timing. Here's a visual of the rotation of the motor. I'll go through a full revolution of the motor. That way I can inspect every inch of the belt along the way. Again, I'm looking for any cracks, any visual frays of the belt. This is not a foolproof method of saying, oh, the belt is good, but it's a good way to identify any emergency cases where the belt needs to be replaced immediately. In my case, the belt looked pretty good, so I feel comfortable driving a couple extra hundred miles on my road trip prior to replacing the belt. Inspection is complete. I'll go ahead and reassemble the timing belt cover and also reinstall the hose clamp for the upper radiator hose in the correct position as well as reattach the spark plug wires to the timing belt cover. If you found this video useful for a nice easy quick way to check the integrity of your timing belt please give it a like, a share, a comment down below. As always, if you have any tips to make this easier or any things to look for when you're inspecting the timing belt that I didn't cover here, please let me know down below in the comments because that'll be helpful for myself as well as anybody watching the video. As always, thank you for watching. It's much appreciated. I'm out.